Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to go over the Cobbler Shaker, or the Three-Piece Shaker. Yes. One of our most commonly used shakers, right? That's right. Unless we need to muddle something, then we would use the Boston Shaker. Yep. Uh, but this is the one that we prefer to use. Yep. So, And uh, the Three-Piece Shaker, it's got a lid right on the top here, and then it has the strainer all built in for you. We do look for a strainer that uh, has the big holes in it. Yeah. So um, sometimes if the holes are too small, shaking it, uh, the ice can kind of freeze that area up and make it difficult to pour. Right. So then we also look for something that has, you know, a good thick gauge to the steel, good right. stainless steel. Reason for that is we want to be able to shake it as long as we can, so it doesn't get too cold to the touch and freeze your hands off. Yeah. So we have sort of delicate hands, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very delicate. So, and what bugs us most in three-piece shakers, and we have a cabinet full of them almost, mm -hmm. right, is that they are leaking and you're shaking something with cream or egg white and it like splatters you, right? Yep. So the key for us is to find one that fits snugly together. This is a Riesel brand from Germany, R-O-S-L-E. Right. And we like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't, uh, they, they don't give us any free ones. We buy these ourselves. This is just what we prefer to use because it works in so many ways. Well, what bugs me about this is that they are made in China, which it doesn't bother me. That's not what bothers me. <laughs> but you'll go for like months and there'll be none of them for sale anywhere. Right. Because right. then they said, oh my gosh, we better make some more of these. So they call China <laughs> and like, get on it. Right. And then they'll flood the market for six months and then there will be none for four months. So... <laughs> Feast or fan. Yeah, so whenever we see them for sale, we like buy half a dozen. Because right. these people love these. We give them as gifts and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. it's, it's nice. So show us how to use it. Yep. So typically you would be pouring all of your ingredients in. So, so we have all of our ingredients here, which is today just water. Right. You got everything going in there that you would like, and then you would add ice. Throw the lid on top. Then you're going to shake it. You want to hold it firmly. Make sure to hold over the top to hold the lid on. And when you do shake, you want it to go into kind of in a long oval. You don't want to be going straight up and down and banging the ice against the top and the bottom because that's going to break up the ice. Um, it's going to clog up the holes. And uh, a lot worse, it's going to water down your drink. Right. So, and everybody has a different, like, I've got longer arms than you. Yeah. So I'm a one-handed shaker, like, above my head. You're, you shake it at your shoulder. Some people shake it out front. So there's no like right or wrong way. You just have to sort of experiment with what feels good to you, right? Yeah, what's, whatever, a good rhythm. whatever's more comfortable, whatever muscles are stronger for you for shaking. Yeah. That's what you want to use. All right. <laughs> so give it a good shake. And then you twist the pull off the top. Strainer all built in for you. You can strain it right into your glass. Wonderful. So there's everything you wanted to know about the cobbler shaker, the mm -hmm. three-piece shaker. Enjoy. Cheers.